What's up, y'all, and welcome to Effect House. Effect House is a software that you can use to make augmented reality effects for TikTok. Effects are a way for you to inspire creativity, boost viewership, and engage in challenges and community events. Best of all, Effect House is available for free and doesn't require a programming background, so anyone can use it. Today, we're gonna get you started with learning how to use Effect House so you can become a master creator in no time. First, we'll go over how to download and log into Effect House. Then, we'll take a tour of the Effect House interface and walk through the basic process of creating and publishing an effect. Let's jump right into it. If you haven't already, you'll wanna download Effect House which you can do by going to our website at effecthouse.tiktok.com. There, you can click on the download button in the upper right and choose the correct version for your computer. Keep in mind that there are minimum system requirements for downloading the software, so make sure your computer meets those requirements. All right, so once you have Effect House downloaded, you'll be prompted to log in with your TikTok account, which you can do by scanning the QR code with the add friends function on the TikTok app or by logging in via desktop. Now that we're logged in, let's take a look at our homepage. At the top, you'll see banners showcasing feature highlights and how you can get involved with the Effect House community. So be sure to keep an eye out for cool new things. Beneath the banners, you'll find the most recent projects you've been working on, as well as a few recommended templates. Templates are pre-made effects that you can open and modify to your liking. They're a really great way to dive into effect creation since they often showcase cool capabilities and allow you to make awesome effects without having to start from scratch. You can access an entire list of templates from the templates tab and browse through them by category. Here's a couple right here. You can also find a complete list of your recent projects from this tab over here. If you want to create a new project from scratch, you can click on the create project button and you can also click on the open project button to browse through your files on your computer. Down here, there are links to the Effect House website and our learning resources. Be sure to check those out. The learning resources page has step-by-step -step tutorials, guides, and tips for the best practices. There's also a feedback form you can submit and a button to log out. Down here, next to your username, you'll see a badge, which reflects your progress and milestones in Effect House. Underneath that, the Manage Effects link will take you to an analytics webpage where you can examine how your published effects are performing. Isn't that cool? Now that we've seen the homepage, let's actually try to make an effect. I'm going to use one of these pre-made templates to start with. Here, we are inside the Effect House workspace. This interface is composed of a few different panels, so let's walk through each one and define some of the basic terms while we're at it. First, let's look at the preview panel which shows a preview of your effect, and it mimics the TikTok interface on your phone. You can actually change the preview media from this menu, and you can even use the video feed from your webcam. At the bottom, you can also change the TikTok UI, depending on what mobile device you want to mimic. If you want to hide the preview panel, you can just click on this button over here. You can also undock the preview panel if you want to manipulate it as a separate window. In the upper left of our workspace, we have the hierarchy panel, which houses objects. Now, objects are these individual elements that make up your effect. You can toggle object visibility by simply clicking the checkbox next to individual objects or groups of objects. To add an object, all you have to do is click this add button, browse through the categories, and select your desired object. If you select an object in the hierarchy panel, like this bling object that's already selected, you'll see that it's made up of different components, which you can view in the inspector panel. The inspector panel holds all of the components, which are the elements that actually make up and control the effect. Each component has specific properties, which are the settings that you can fine tune and adjust to your liking. The scene panel here shows a 3D or a 2D view of all the objects added to an effect. You can manipulate objects and control the view here. So, for example, if I add a three-dimensional object to the hierarchy panel, like a 3D image, I can click these buttons up here in the scene panel to move it around. 
in 3D space. Rotate the object and even scale the object's size. You can also move around in the scene panel by holding down the command or window keys and moving the mouse. Or you can rotate the view by right clicking and then moving the mouse. If you want to reset the view to default, you can just click on this reset view button over here. Two dimensional objects like eyeshadow will show a 2D screen in the scene panel instead of a 3D space. The assets panel over here is where you can import or add built-in textures, materials, 3D models, and audio. This template comes with preloaded assets like this freckle material that you can edit the color of in the inspector panel. Uh, let's add a little bit of red, maybe? Or let's do blue. Yeah, let's do blue, that looks, that looks nice. If you want to import your own assets, you can do so by clicking on this add button and selecting from any of these import options. If you want to import pre-made assets, you can choose from this asset library up here. Oh, wow, these look pretty cool. Yeah, you can browse all of these. Finally, we have the graph panel, which you can use to perform visual scripting. Visual scripting is a graph-based programming method that lets you create interactive effects without needing to write text-based code. So instead of writing code from scratch, you can just arrange and connect these little blocks called nodes to create flows of logic. Like the preview panel, you can hide this panel from view by clicking on this button. And you can undock the panel to move it around. You can make pretty impressive and detailed effects with visual scripting. So be sure to check out our online documentation and video tutorials on getting started with visual scripting. For now, let's just add a pre-made visual scripting package called an interaction to make our effect more engaging. All I need to do is click on the object that I want to make interactive, like this bling object, go to the inspector panel, click add interaction, and then choose. Let's select top screen to toggle visibility you'll see that this adds a pre-built visual scripting feature here. And now I can toggle the Blinks object visibility every time I tap on the preview. Pretty neat, right? If you want to preview your effect in TikTok, you can just click on this preview in TikTok button, which generates a QR code that you can scan using the TikTok app's scanner function. Let's say that we're satisfied with our effect and now we're ready to publish it. So we'll click this submit button. We need to upload a thumbnail that represents our effect, which we can do here. Be sure to check out our guide on best practices for creating effect thumbnails. Don't worry, we got you. Then we'll need to name the effect. And we can also add a hint for users if you want to. The effect package size is shown here. It's within the size limit, so we're good to go. Once you click upload, you'll be directed to a web page where you can define the effect category. In this case, it's beauty. Now you can add tags such as sparkle and comments as well. Finally, you will choose an active effect house challenge to submit your effect to. And now you're done. All that hard work is paid off. Now you can click submit, you'll see a success page and your effect will be reviewed by the effect house team to make sure it's good for publication. Great job. Now that you know the basics, feel free to browse through the templates and play around with Effect House. Stay tuned for more tutorials on getting started and creating effects so you can take your creativity to the next level. The sky is the limit. We can't wait to see what you make. For more information on getting started with Effect House, be sure to check out our documentation at effecthouse.tiktok.com.